Hello everyone, this is Barka Technical Solution and I am Firdus Rahman. In this video, we are going to see how to toggle an LED using a push button with ESP32. So, first let us see the diagram. So, here as you can see in the diagram, we have our ESP32 and our breadboard and all the components that we need. So, for this we need a 10K resistor, a 330 ohm resistor, a red LED and a button. So, how we have connected the circuit? Let us see. So, first we connect the 330 ohm resistor to our positive side of the LED and then we connect that resistor to the pin number 23 of our ESP32 and we ground the negative pin to our ground rail of the breadboard. Then here in our button we use we have used a 10 kilo ohm resistor and we have connected a wire that is pink the pink wire or for in our real circuit it is it will be shown as white. So this pink wire is connected to the pin number 22 which is serial to the 10k resistor and then we have connected the red wire or the, the other part of our button to the 5 volt pin of our ESP32. So, this is all our circuit and I will provide this diagram in the description. So, this is the circuit that we have seen in our diagram. So, if I show you, so this is the ESP32, as you can see this is the black wire. <coughs> which was connected to the ground rail which is connected to the ground pin of our ESP32. The brown one is the LED which is connected to the pin number 23. The white one or it was shown as the pink in a diagram which is connected to pin number 22 and the red one is connected to 5 volt of our ESP. And this red wire is connected to the second pin of our button and the white one is connected to the to serially to our 10k resistor. Now let us go to our Arduino ID. So in the Arduino ID the first thing we do is we set our pin. So to define our pin we have to write const int LED is equal to 23 then for the button const int button is equal to 22 because we have connected our LED to pin number 23 and our button to pin number 22. Then we initialize two variable which is int, int last state button which is low and int state LED which is also low. Then in our setup part we set up the pin mode for both of our LED and button. So, for the LED the pin mode will be output and the and for the button the pin uh, the pin mode will be input and the pin mode will be written with a capital M and everything else and everything output and input will be capital letter also. Then we create another variable which is integer button state and here we check the button we read the button state. So, to read the button state we need to write digital read and in the parenthesis there will be the button which we want to read. Now, we give a condition which is if the button state is not equal to is not equal to last button last state button which was initialized as low. So, if that is true then we save our current button state to our last button state for the next iteration of the loop. Then we set another condition which is if the last button state is equal to low and another statement which is if the state LED is all also equal to high we set this state LED 
to low and if we and otherwise we set the state LED as high. The last thing we need to do is we have to write the state LED to our LED pin. So, to do that we write digital write LED and state LED. So, this line we have to write this line after we have exited this loop. If we have exited this loop then we can write this line and our program is done. Now, if we upload it as you can see in our bottom left corner it is it is saying connecting. So, now we need to push and hold the I need to push and hold the boot button for a few second and after that now as you can see it is saying hard resetting via RTC. Now, the pro program is uploaded to our ESP. Now, if we push the button you can see the LED turned on and if we push it again the LED will turn off. So, thank you everyone for watching the video and if this video was helpful please hit the like button and subscribe for more video like this.